All right, Duke of the Missouri here with another hunt. This time I'm hunting a couple fields and an old road. So um, I found a couple things before this. I found, um, just was going through a field, didn't find much. Uh, tire weight, a shotgun head stamp. But found something interesting in the roadbed right here. Right in that hole there, near the surface, it was a hoe. Not really sure how old that is, not to be able to tell, but I think I found a hoe on this road before, which is a little bit weird. Maybe this is where they just threw them. Okay, see you in the next hole. Alright, back here with the next target. Not really sure what it is. Seems to be a piece of iron, definitely. Um, kind of D-shaped. Maybe a piece of horse tackle of some kind. See you in the next find. Alright, here's Digging in Missouri back with the next find. I uh, found that almost in the roadbed. It looks like some sort of attachment pin. It's not threaded, so it makes me think that it's a little bit old. It's a big ring. Sorry about the wind. So, see you in the next find. <sighs> okay guys, this one caught me totally off guard. I was not expecting this at all. See that uh, round thing in there? That, to me, is looking like a two-piece button. And I could have sworn it might just be my mind playing tricks on me that had an eagle on it. If so, this would be my first Civil War button ever. And, okay, hold on. Let's clean that off. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me get that focused for you. But that is an eagle button. Dang. Alright, I'll be back. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Alright, I'm back. And this is not just an eagle button. This is a coat-sized cavalry button. Union Army Civil War. God, that is the place, this is the place where I would least have expected it. There are a thousand more sites that I've been to that I would expect this more than on the side of a random road uh, in my neighborhood. That is a fantastic find. Makes the whole hunt worth it right there. Awesome. See you at the next find. Alright, I'm back with my finds roundup for the day. I'll start with some stuff and then go to my best finds. So there was that hoe that I found. Still not sure how old it is. If you have any suggestions as to how old that could be, um, post them in the comments. Here's this ring thing. Now this is this is kind of interesting. Um, like I said before, it's got no threads, which is what makes me think it might be wagon related. You know, since it was on the road. But um, you know, you have the ring. You have this. Um, kind of U-shaped piece of metal, and then a little thing that goes here, and then these ends here are curled, you know, like, um, I don't know, it looks like something that a blacksmith would do, so, if you have any ideas on what that is, please post them in the comments. Now, this was something I found, this was, um, I thought it was just a big piece of sheet iron at first but it has all these little holes in it and you know with the civil war stuff that i found um i was wondering if it wasn't war related or something other than just junk so if you have any ideas on that either put it in the comments i found some chain links and half heart, half a horseshoe and then this little bit of horse tack um, so here were, or here was my best find, right, right there, the video really doesn't do it justice, it's, doesn't have much guilt on it, where the C is right in the middle there, you can see a little bit of guilt on it, but, um, it's got this beautiful brass, dark green patina all around it, so that's really nice, and then the back mark, 
has the full shank on there. It's Scoville, 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 I don't know. Manufacturing company, Waterbury. It's a fairly common back mark, but still a great find. Like I said before, that was my first Civil War button. Or actually, you know what, just my first button complete. So, pretty good finds today. Especially for going out on such a short, short trip. I've been kind of cooped up a little bit. We've had quite a bit of snow. So it was great to get out and hunt. Thanks for watching, watching and have a nice day.